dead end. There might be an exit in the courtroom. A depiction of a pook, god of death and ruler of Mitnau, the ninth and most horrible level of the Maya version of hell. One thing a pook enjoyed doing was dressing in putrefying flesh and visiting the surface to prey upon the living. According to legend, the only way to save yourself from him was to scream and yell like you were in unbearable agony. He'd assume you were already being tortured by one of his minions and leave you alone. How appropriate that his harbinger demon was a screech owl named Muon. Those charged with crimes are brought here, and they battle under the watchful gaze of the gods, the only infallible judges. Those proven innocent may leave, but the guilty are killed and thrown to Shabalba. And in the moment the gods were satisfied Metnal did not kill his wife, a pelican landed at the accused's feet. This stunned those in attendance. This was a seabird, hardly ever seen this far inland. The representatives of the gods decided to see what the bird meant to do. It circled Metnal, flapping its wings and squawking softly, and then it opened its mouth and a half-eaten fish landed at Metnal's feet. This was understood by all as a sign of Metnal's guilt he was quickly executed. Twenty-third of May. Over a month has passed since our expedition departed from Quiaba. We have consumed our provisions methodically thus far, and continue to be in high spirits. Father's age shows when we're on foot. A few times now I have caught Raleigh looking over his shoulder and back at us to make sure we're still keeping up. Father always returns a look with a smile and saying he'll soon be the one in the lead. <laughs> 